It has been over 50 years since Jimi Hendrix lost his life in mysterious circumstances in Notting Hill Hotel Room. The postmortem of Hendrix's body was inconclusive, birthing an explosion of conspiracy theories surrounding the circumstances of his death. There are only a few facts we know for sure about the night of Hendrix's passing. Initially, it was concluded that the guitarist died of asphyxiation from his vomit while intoxicated on barbiturates. However, coroner Gavin Thurston disputed the physiological cause of Hendrix's death and said there was insufficient evidence of the circumstances to say how the guitarist passed away. Despite Thurston's findings, it's commonly believed that choking on his vomit was Hendrix's cause of death. While this can't be ruled out, there is also no concrete evidence to support it either, and for that reason, fans have played Perot to speculate on the true reason behind his untimely demise. There was only one other person who had a true understanding of what occurred that fateful night, Hendrix's girlfriend, Monica Dannerman. Tragically, she died of suicide in 1996, just two days after losing a court battle against another Hendrix romantics partner, Kathy Etchingham. Etchingham doubted Dannerman's version of events and proved the later's deceit in court about the relationship. I don't like history being altered, she explained to The Independent after Dannerman's death, and it's not right that anyone should change the character and essence of a person. Jimmy was a really nice bloke, but he was not a prophet. At the end, he was a man who had lost his way. If you look at the footage of the final concerts, you can see what LSD and cocaine do. With Dannerman deceased, nobody will ever find out real truth behind what happened on that fateful night. One outlandish theory is linked to his manager, Mike Jeffrey, who reportedly had ties to criminal gangs. In the last few months of Hendrix's life, the musician was arrested for heroin possession and kidnapped, which he allegedly felt he was because of Jeffrey, who was upset with him for breaking up the experience. Hendrix had found a new manager, Alan Douglas, and informed Jeffrey about his decision to leave on September 17th. His departure would open up a treasure trove of information about Jeffrey's shady business dealings which could land him in prison. Considering Hendrix died the next day, many believe Jeffrey was responsible for his passing. Furthermore, according to the documentary, The Last 24 Hours, Jeffrey took out a $2 million life insurance policy on Hendrix, making him a rich man if the guitarist passed away. A theory more outlandish than Jeffrey being responsible for Hendrix's death is that the conspiracy of the FBI killed him. The guitarist had many comments supporting the Black Panther movement, which had put him on their radar, and as an influential black voice, he could speak to young people. It's alleged they murdered him. It's impossible to rule out the possibility of murder, according to Dr. John Bannister, who was on duty when Hendrix died. He later said Jimi Hendrix had been dead for some time. Red wine was coming out of his nose and out of his mouth. It was horrific. Someone apparently poured red wine down Jimmy's throat to intentionally cause asphyxiation after first causing a barbiturate intoxication. With the about, without the ability to cough, he was easily drowned. According to his friends, Hendrix didn't drink red wine and it has been previously used as a waterboarding technique, which adds validity to the case he was murdered. Additionally, no alcohol was found in his blood when he died. Another fantastical theory relating to his death is that the Mafia bumped Hendrix off. Claims made by conspirators suggest that organized crime units were allegedly unhappy about him bringing his drug supply to Electric Lady Studios, which was in their patch. However, there is no concrete argument to support this theory. In all likelihood, Hendrix's death was an accident resulting from him feeling the pressure of the stresses of his career. Drugs were his source of escape, and life got more strenuous, his addiction woes worsened, which led to his fateful travesty. While the probable truth isn't as glamorous as involvement by the Mafia or the FBI, neither was Hendrix's life compared with the fabricated legend we are fed.